Liberal and your piss. Bullshit. We're being nice here. You just you know want what attention. I care, about? I, care about, I care about the American people. Good. You're the one flipping out. Anybody hurt? I'm being nice. I'm not lying. Everybody get the fuck off my stage. What the fuck? What a fucking cowardly little bitch. Yeah, get the fuck out. I'm right here. Did you spit in his face? Right here. Did you spit in his face? Right here. Did you spit in his face? So I am asking you, did you spit in his face? Was I see? Okay, fine. Let's fuck a little stir up. We got a little oh, this is gonna be good. I'm gonna jump in the ring in this one. Alright, so that's uh that's Jimmy Dore. Jimmy Dore. I love Jimmy Dore, right? Jimmy Dore has his own show. And uh, that was uh, let's let's put this uh, put this into context, okay? So Jimmy Dore did the spitting, right? That's the guy spitting in Alex Jones's face. Uh, I'll give you a little background. Got to have a little, got to put it into a little context because <clears throat> got to roll the tape back. That was 2016, and that's when the Young Turks had real edge and real teeth, right? And uh, they were they had a they had a little space set up in the Republican National Convention, right? Young Turks went down there. The whole team went down there and they were covering the Republican convention, right? And they had their own space and Alex Jones pushes into the space, right? He comes in there, tries to turn the whole place into a circus, right? So that's Chank Uger. He goes after Chank Uger because Chank was sitting at the table, right? But Jimmy Dore was around the side. So so Alex Jones is cursing everybody out. He curses down the girl, Anna Kasparian, right? Calls her a fucking, I don't know what, a Turk or a calls her you know like a terrorist or something right and the guys the guys in the room step up and they push him they push alex jones back alex jones attacked the girl right and that's when they got involved right so so you see you so you see you see jimmy Dore sneak up behind him and spit right in his fucking face man right <laughs> then the kid calls him a coward he didn't call he just he spit in his face he says i'm right in front of you so so what does that have to do with the with the story all right so so Jimmy Dore, right, is is a fucking is a is an internet hero in terms of media, right? They've been releasing uh, the intelligence agencies have been releasing their reports to convince us that Russia, we should be upset at Russia because they hacked our election. First of all, and give a shit if they did. We try, we the United States tapped Angela Merkel's phone. <laughs> She's our ally. And what people are really upset about is that, uh, oh, my God, Russia got access to uh, John Podesta's emails and then they ran around spreading the truth. <laughs> <laughs> right after Hillary Clinton stole the election from Bernie Sanders, there was a division in the in these groups. Right. In this group of people that were one. Right. Everybody was was all for Sanders bringing a new deal to the country, right? <clears throat> and the Democrats stuck a knife in Bernie Sanders' back, cheated, lied, stole, blamed Russia, every other shit in the world, right? And the people that were paying attention left and never went back. Jimmy Dore was one of them, right? And the other side of the field is the, the, the opportunists, like Cenk Uger. We're going to reform the party. Justice Democrats, our revolution, brand new Congress, right? They had all these brilliant ideas how they were going to reform the Democratic Party, right? So, so enter, enter Coxsmoker, right? Right? He's on the other side. This is one of the guys. I don't really know who this guy is, really. I don't follow him. I don't like him. I don't like his face. I don't like his, his demeanor. His name is David Pakman, right? And he attacked Jimmy Dore recently. So there's a big stir up in this community. And I, I, I mean, I got to, I got to, you know, go to back because these guys are, these guys are punk ass, right? All these, all these little, these young kids, they, you know, they dress nice, but here's the deal, right? 
David Pakman. He's got 17,700 videos on YouTube, right? He's got 517,000 subscribers, right? That's fucking huge, man. Who's paying attention? I don't know. I don't know who he is, right? Jimmy Dore, 402,000 subscribers. So these are, this is a big audience, right? So, so this kid, Pacman, takes a shot at him, right? Takes a shot at Jimmy Dore, um, you know, saying that he's a, he's a, well, just watch the video. Hi, David. Back. This is uh, Patrick calling from Indiana. Um, so recently I was listening to a conversation between Sam Cedar and Benjamin Dixon, and mm -hmm. the substance of the conversation um, was what uh, Sam described as the dumb, dumb left. Right. And more specifically, he was talking about Jimmy Dore and kind of Jimmy's, I would call it um, progressive purity test. Um, and he had recently criticized uh, Ocasio-Cortez and Bernie um, for not towing the progressive line enough. And just kind of on a broader scale, he kind of criticizes uh, Democrats and liberals more than he would ever criticize a Republican, yep. um, kind of using whataboutism and whatnot. And I think he basically just taps into the anger that some people feel on the left. And I kind of agree with uh, Sam and Benjamin's uh, point about that, that might turn off those people from even participating in the election, kind of uh, furthering progressive ideals. Yep. So I just kind of wondered uh, what your take on like on that whole situation was, and if you agreed, I completely agree with Sam and Ben on this issue. I believe that the um, uh, uh, in involvement of Jimmy Dore in politics has become completely toxic. It I so he just attacked the number one, the number one guy in progressive politics on the internet, Jimmy Dore. Right, right. He said he's he's toxic. He's his 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 his, his involvement in politics is toxic. That's what this cock smoker just said, right? Right? That's what he just said. Let's continue. I've I've made I've cast a wider net in terms of that toxic element of the left and I've I don't know that this is the right characterization but you might remember me previously talking about what I describe as the leninist left of Vladimir Lenin, leninist. And I don't think it's really fair to, to group Jimmy Dore under that. But there is this contingent of the left that by virtue of a combination of as you point out what about ism so-called progressive purity tests and a whole bunch of other mechanisms that I've described, they end up being useful idiots. And the, I want to be clear, calling them idiots is not it's not an ad hominem. Useful idiot is a specific sort of political term that has basically it means you are unknowingly becoming a tool furthering the objectives of those who you either don't realize you're furthering the objectives of or those you would on paper believe you're on opposite sides. I think that it's become completely toxic. I know that there are people in our audience who are fans of, of all combinations of these shows, but I think it is absolutely brutally completely counterproductive to everything that uh, progressives are, are actually working for. I believe it is not pragmatic. I believe it is ideologically misguided and that that's where I am. So on that issue, I'm with Sam and Ben 100%. From what I saw in One Democracy Now! appearance that he did, he seemed to be totally whitewashing any possible Russian interference or, or, or anything of it, uh, anything involving Russia in a way that seemed uh, extraordinarily and generously exculpatory of Trump and his cronies in a way that seems very disconnected from, from the evidence on the ground. Listen, this is what's going on, right? So... This is a guy, right? I told, I just told you about the division, right? In in 2016, there was a split in 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 mindset, right? Where idiots like this, right? This 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 prim and proper park man, pack man, right? Is is on the side of reform the party, the rabbit hole of reform the party. Now they're realizing that it's a fucking rabbit hole and it's a disaster, right? It's not, it, there's no possibility of reforming criminals, right? So now they're backpedaling, right? Right? Jimmy Dore's been on the right side of the thing the whole time, right? But guys like this are now calling, they're calling Jimmy Dore the useful idiot, right? He's the, this guy, Pac-Man and his, the other jerk-offs that he's talking about are the useful idiots. They're the tools. They were played by the Democratic Party, Right? Jimmy Dore standing against Ocasio-Cortez, holding, holding her feet to the fire, right? And Bernie, too, right? Right? 
Where's the Bernie of 2016? Nowhere to be found, right? But idiots like this are still trying to, to, to defend the, the Clintons and the, and the, the, the corruption and the, the, the fucking foulness of this uh, Democratic Party, right? So, um, so, so Mr. Packman, this is, a, this is a profanity alert. If you don't like cursing, step aside. Jimmy Dore, step aside. Listen to me, you fucking little punk, right? You little fucking punk Pac-Man, right? Who the fuck do you think you are, man? Russia, 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 Russia. Jimmy Dore had, has everybody's back, and you're a fucking sellout, right? You and the people like you are fucking sellouts, all right? So, so fuck you. There is no Russia, 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 fucking. Your elections are rigged, right? The elections are rigged. Right? And you fucking bought into that shit. Right? You're hurting the country. You are hurting the fucking country. Okay? Get out of the way. We've been saying all along that you can't reform criminals. You have to get them out of the way. Right? How you do that is not very clear. But trying to, you know, join the mob and then turn the mob into angels is not going it, to... It doesn't work. It never works. It's stupid. It's... It's, it's, it's backwards, right? You got to, you know, get behind people with balls that hold their ground, right? Not faggots like this. Excuse me. He's not a faggot. He's a cock smoker. <laughs> so, right? He's prim and proper, right? This is political correctness. I, I'm not bashing his sexuality. I don't know what the hell the guy is. Probably, he probably has a beautiful young girlfriend. You know, who cares, right? It, that's not the point. The guy is, the guy is a... Is is a is oh we're gonna we're gonna reform the party. How's that working out for you? How's that working out for you? Reforming a party of criminals. It's not working out for you. And now you realize it. And now you're backpedaling. There's no way that you're gonna put up some faggot ass uh, candidate and run against Trump. You think Elizabeth Warren's gonna uh, Warren is gonna beat Donald Trump? Are you out of your mind? That guy's gonna chew her up and spit her out just on personalities he's gonna he's gonna throw everything out so you guys got you guys got nothing man you're a bunch of fucking losers right pac-man pac-man you fucking loser you are a loser right get on the right side of the politics man and fight back you idiot you little scumbag right? attacking jimmy door fuck you my name is marcus conti reporting